Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a minute. I always say that because it always is, but uh, I did some serious work on the Mustang and I'll show you guys what I got done here. Look at that turbo kit, all done. I spent like 16 hours one day this weekend building this thing. Turned out pretty sharp, I think. Uh, I'll kind of go over what's all done to it. Uh, it's, we kind of not we, me, but uh, kind of designed this after the kit that me and Jake built. Um, it's just real easy to do them like that, that we figured out. Um, not to mention they look pretty good. So, well, speaking of Jake, he, if you go check out his channel, Turbo Gary, he finally went a five in the eighth. He's been trying to do that for years now. So, hopefully he's broken the curse and just continue to get quicker and quicker. Anywho, um, so yeah, here's what we got going on here. Um, I just you reused my same uh, shorty headers I had. These are Pipes brand headers. They're real stainless. They're not chrome. I mean, they're pretty decent for the money. They've been modified to choke down to a two and a half inch V band. This bank just kind of curls up and goes in. This bank over here has a little snake I had to kind of do there. Loops around with a flex. Good idea to always put a flex in, at least one side, so if you got vibrations or swelling or whatever, you don't crack a weld. And then it just loops around up here. I've got a brace that I welded to the flange down to the tube front, it's removable, just to keep it from, you know, bouncing like this. <coughs> got my waste gates put in, and uh, if you're, new to turbo kit building or you want to build your own this is the number one thing that you got to get right because if you don't have your waste gates in the right spot priori prioritized in flow then they are going to creep or you might just they might open up and you're not you can't build any boost or whatever there's lots of scenarios that can happen but these are a pair of, there's two Tile 44 millimeter waste gates here. These are real tiles. I always buy. You don't want to skip out on a cheap ass waste gate because you know that's just something you just don't want to do. You can get cheap on other stuff, but waste gates, you know, put a set of good ones on there. Um, back to prioritizing flow. As you can tell, if you think about, um, if you think about airflow as as water is the best way to describe it. So air and water, they move similarly. So I'll show you here kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, so air comes out of the header, exhaust. And when it comes up and it has to make this bend here, it kind of has to slow down. So if you look here, it kind of has to slow down to make a bend slightly. And when it slows down, then it these are kind of just in line with this pipe here. You see what I mean? Like. They, it slows down and then it just goes straight out as it slows down and then it can just go straight out like the wastegates so these wastegates are getting a lot of uh, airflow directed at them so I'm also a big fan of running twin gates especially on a divided hot side some guys they'll run a single like big wastegate 60 66 mil on one bank trying to just shut down one whole bank and a lot of those guys run into boost creep problems because you still have one entire bank, four cylinders, pumping straight into the turbo to spool it. So I'm a fan of running twin gates always. That's I've it just seems like that just works the absolute best. So um, I've got this billet fl steel flange I got off eBay. Um, another thing I'm building turbo kits is. Uh, you don't want to run too big a diameter pipe. Uh, some guys will be like, oh, I got three inch piping on there on a 302 or, you know, something something small cubic inch. And uh, that makes these, always people always are impressed about how fast my turbo spools up. I mean, this thing lights like uh, instantly. I mean, it takes nothing. And that's because I, it contributed a lot of how my hot sides are built. Um, I use two and a half inch pipe. You could almost get away with running two and a quarter inch pipe. You don't need big pipe. You want small pipe to keep the velocity, the speed of the air, and the heat 
compact and tight because it's heat and speed that spool turbos. So, something to think about. Um, the exhaust, I've got, this is four inch exhaust. Uh, this is, this little section here is stainless because this sees the most initial heat. And then I've got a V-band that goes to an aluminum downpipe that exits out. Uh, just, I went aluminum because it's the same price as stainless for the pipe. And this is a lot less weight, so. And it probably cools off a lot quicker, so. But yeah, this is how everything looks. It's turned out really good. It all fits really nice with the bumper skin. Fully custom made. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, oh, uh, I welded all with my, I cut everything with my little porta band here, um, and I welded everything with my Lincoln Square Wave. Now that I've got some use out of that, I really like the machine. It works real good on AC. I'm impressed with that. And, uh, well, anyways, uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. If you want to see this thing run, I'm going to have to do a little, some street tuning with it because of the methanol there. Um, it all runs and everything, but I mean in boost we're gonna have to take some fuel out because methanol in itself is a fuel So it's like adding an injector to the system here But yeah, it turned out real good um, I'm real happy with it So yeah, I got to get a blow-off valve welded in I have one ordered I uh, just got to do that. That's that'll take me no time other than that, she's ready to rock and roll, finally, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.